So we got this tweet from Dr. Jebra Fauché. What makes people do things like this? Oh, I hope you enjoy watching this video. You won't. You're going to cringe. Sticking my guillot at at and where everybody me. knows I have a pee pee. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah? You got to put your stuff on and get out of here right now, please but, and thank you. But why? You have to get out but of here. But I was dancing. I need you to get out of here, please and thank you, before I call the police. Not the police. Hey, Not the police. Oh, <laughs> Not the police. So why is she doing this, you ask? Uh, I believe that this is most likely a th there's there's two there's two um, large probabilities. The one is that it's out my balls. People like watching this stuff. So they follow this woman and they do watch this stuff. The first thing I want to say is, sh dude, she's losing her mind over this algorithm. I will give her credit for this video right here, which I do respect. Hello, I'm 2023. We think everything is racist here. Hey, look, it looks like I'm pregnant. That's too insensitive, dear. There are women who can't get pregnant. You might be triggering them. But first, I'll need your pronouns. Are they she, he, they, or them? Well, I don't want to be here anymore. This year can't take a joke. So don't you try to make me stick around because I would rather choke. Oh, oh, you're not allowed to say that people struggle with self-harm. And if they see you make... Okay, so it's like... The video itself is kind of cringe, but the writing is actually fairly decent in that in this video, she's basically saying no matter what you do, trying to tell jokes, someone's going to uh, attack you. They're going to call you, uh, uh, you know, a bigot, an ableist, a racist. I actually like that one. But let me show you the real issue of why she pulled her pants on in an AT&T. And it's sad. It's sad as hell. Amber, if you see this, yo, let me explain this to you. I think it's important for you to see You've got 518,000 followers on TikTok, a foreign controlled platform that is algorithmically rewarding you for doing insane things like pulling your pants down in an AT&T store. And she's done it over and over and over again. These same cringe videos where she just repeatedly pulls her pants down. Why is she doing this? How do you go from making a rap about cancel culture or I guess I don't I'm, I'm going to find the date on Hello, this one. I don't want to. Oh, darn. So you, you just want stop. Stop that for a second. So this was September of 2023 when she posted that one. I'm wondering when the rest of her videos are from, but we'll, we'll get into it. OK, when you go to her uh, YouTube, she has 58,000 subscribers. The videos, the last one she posted was seven months ago. It's got 23,000 views. Most of her videos only have a few hundred, maybe a thousand. Why? Her videos were not successful in the YouTube algorithm. Now, that could just be YouTube saying, like, we don't like what you're doing. Please stop. But hold on there a minute. Um, where are the videos of her pulling her pants down and making weird noises? Not here. She had Boomer versus Millennial. But uh, nobody is. Uh, no, nobody's watching her stuff. You can see that she's trying to find different ways to get attention. Now let's jump over to Instagram, where she's doing a lot of these similar things. Guess what? 16,800 followers. And these videos that she's posting doing the weird things, 29 likes and nine comments. It doesn't work. She keeps pulling her pants down in various places and making weird videos. But for some reason on TikTok, it does work. I'll tell you why. TikTok, in my opinion... And this is why there was a call to actually ban it is rewarding behavior that causes social degradation. You're ruining your life. But so is everybody else. So what else can you say? Misery loves company. You'll all end up in the same pot. Let me play another video uh, from her. Sticking my key at this eggplant. Oh, no, it appears that I have pulled down my pants. I'm live right now at the grocery store. So she went to the grocery store. She that's not an eggplant. She's holding what looks like some kind of gourd uh, squash of some sort. And then she pulls her pants down again. She's wearing shorts or whatever, like, I don't know, boxers. But uh, this is it. <laughs> I'm live right now at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there you go fungal jungle with an arrow ar arrow pointing down and she's pulling her pants down again oh, i pooped i pooped i'm on live right now at the grocery store pooping 
Yo, this is just nuts. Again, Mikey, you're out at Walgreens. Okay, but I'll tell you this. There's uh, there's probably these amount of people on TikTok who are like, ha, ha, because like on my balls, you know, it's like, ha, look, look, she's in the grocery store and she her pants down. Um, but I think there's a reason why on YouTube and on Instagram, nobody follows her and she gets no views. But uh, let's just go back in time. Let's go way back to the beginning and you can see the evolution of how a person loses their mind. All the way down, all the way down. Let's go way back in time to the early stages. And uh, man, we've gone way back. Hey, wait a minute. Look at these videos. These videos have less views and she's not, um, she's not pulling her pants down in a grocery store. They are kind of weird. Maybe I could zoom out a little bit. It'll become easier to see. So uh, here's just, you know, her doing comedy bits. And she did songs. You know, this one got a lot of views. It's roll call video, whatever. And uh, then at some point, she makes this video where she goes from making comedy songs like that one about 2023. And like, here's another one, uh, 75,000 views, probably not enough. So uh, here you go. Here's this one censored. Let's see if we can get to the, uh, we'll find the point in her life where she decided to pull her pants down. And it didn't start with her pulling her pants down and making weird noise and throwing things on the floor. It's just what she gets rewarded for doing, which is insane behavior. Help me protest live. And then you can see the views increase. So she's getting around. You can see her views are going up. Some are good. 90,000, 100,000. And then she does this one. 180,000, 300, 300, 400, 400, 200, 700. She's standing outside of a pizza hut with a thing on her chest saying meat. She got a fake elf baby of some sort and her, and her pants are half pulled down. The joke was probably that she was a vegan protesting pizza hut. And I can get trying to be trying to make jokes. And if people like it, Sure. But again, it's not happening on other social media platforms. This stuff is considered weird to a lot of people. Maybe people like it. I don't believe it's real. So after she does that, she does it several more times. This weird thing where she's out in front of stores and then she's getting massive views for doing it. 2.1 million views for having her pants half pulled down. And then over a long enough period of time, it begins to evolve in the content. She's getting more and more views. She's having massive success with, with, when her pants are pulled down, so she keeps doing it. Not all of her videos are like this. Eventually, she does get to the point where her pants are pulled down, and she just starts making more and more of this content. It's low tier, easy to produce, standing out in front of stores, is working for her, so she keeps doing it. And then, there you go. Millions of views, nearly a million views, half a million, 2.2 million. She finds police cars, runs in front of them, and then stands in front of it like she's being arrested. Continually starts making these weird, I'm in a grocery store with eggplants, making weird noises, no longer doing songs, and just standing around half naked. I think the half naked thing works for like young guys who are into that, or people who have weird <laughs> fetishes or whatever, watching them pull their pants down in public. It's not coherent comedy. It is very much out my balls. And I will keep it simple for you. I think the reason that she's doing it is the reward she gets in follower count and likes. I think the reason she's getting rewarded because the TikTok algorithm is supporting deviant and degenerate behaviors. I'm going to tell you this. I, I've, I've revised my stance on free speech. There is one group of people that I will say does not deserve any kind of free speech. No free speech. For nuisance influencers. If you're a nuisance influencer, you get no free speech. I'm half kidding, but watch this guy. Let me show you this video that is also going viral. There's a guy on TikTok. This is what's going on with TikTok. Appreciate you, boss. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, oh well. Can I have more lobster or not? Here's a guy. He's got several full lobsters on his plates. Thank you very much. Oh, oh well. Drop can one. I have more lobster or not? You can have more lobster once you've completed these, sir. Once I have to eat all this first. Look at all of the lobsters he's brought to his table. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about thirteen or fourteen lobster tails and bowls of butter. 
He's going up to the buffet and just loading up on it while filming himself doing it. Why? It's called nuisance influencing. That's what this woman is doing in the grocery stores, pulling her pants down, nuisance influencing, bothering people and doing creepy things and getting rewarded by TikTok for doing it. Don't get me wrong. Twitch allows us to and YouTube does to a certain extent. To be clear, the rules are that I have to finish a plate before I go back to the buffet. For the lobsters, yes. We have a sign right It says there. one per one. plate. Yes. It doesn't say well, you have to eat the plate before you, you come back, though. You see what he's doing? It says you can have one lobster per plate. It's a buffet. They're being nice. And he goes, doesn't say I got to eat it. So he's putting one on a plate, going over, putting and going back and forth. What was that? I wasn't even talking to you. Who are you? Who are you? I wasn't talking to you. So look at these people taking pictures the of The casino who be taking all y'all money has a problem with me taking some lobster, all you can eat. Stop playing with me. So I'm here at the Palms in Vegas trying to put y'all on to the good spots. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? And the manager comes over to my table like, um, excuse me, are you going to eat all that? The rule said one piece per plate. So that's exactly what I was doing. I would get one piece, take it back to my table, and then go back and get another piece. Hey, listen, after all that, I ain't even going to hold y'all. That lobster was busting. The butter has some seasoning at only $80 too? This deal is definitely worth it. But the way that they treated me made me want to leave immediately. You're not supposed to be Look at this. And then he throws them all in the garbage. He throws it all in the garbage. Yo, that is wild, dude. This should be banned. People are making money off of doing this cringe. Where, where is it? At? Here we go. This cringe. Oh, TikTok's breaking. Did I break TikTok or did I break my computer? I, I think this should be banned. I don't think nuisance influencing should be allowed. There is a water spout in the middle of the produce section. You know I'm going to do it. Oh, seriously? Join no, my she live won't. to see what happens. Nah, she won't. There is a water spout in the middle of the produce section. Yeah, it's for produce. It's for cleaning off produce. Nuisance influencers, I do not believe, deserve free speech. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll correct that. Nuisance streaming is not free speech. It is, I don't know, it's... it's um, what, 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 would you, what would you call it, I guess? Um, disorderly conduct. Like, I can respect her criticizing and calling out cancel culture. I can respect her doing songs to be funny. I don't respect the nuisance broadcasting. Going to public areas, grabbing vegetables, and then doing this weird, disgusting, pants-pulling-down garbage. Everything else I think is totally fine. Look at this. Come on! Hey, I'm on live right now trying every fixture out at Lowe's. This is crazy. She climbed on top of a shelf. These things aren't designed to carry an extra hundred plus pounds of weight so you can sit on a toilet at a Lowe's. Nuisance stuff. I got to be honest. I think that TikTok intentionally promotes these things because it's creating degenerate behavior that is bad for our economy and for our culture. Young people are watching this and they're thinking, if I want to be famous, I got to act like a psychopath. Surprise, surprise. It doesn't work on the American platforms. I think to at least a certain degree, American companies are like, yeah, we don't we don't want to encourage this. TikTok doesn't care. So here you go. I feel bad for this woman because she's clearly trying to do comedy. And the only platform that is propping her up is TikTok, which is not an American company. And then, you know what I think? I'll be completely honest. <laughs> I'm on live right now at the grocery store. <laughs> this is nuts. I don't think these are real views and likes. I could be wrong. I don't know. I think what's actually happening is that TikTok gives fake likes to people so that they think what they're doing is generating a positive reaction. I, I ask you this. I understand that TikTok is very popular. Instagram and YouTube are also very popular. YouTube is the second largest search engine, and it is one of the biggest social media. I think it's the biggest social media website, uh, the biggest video platform. How come she's not getting any, any, any traction or attention on YouTube? Let's see how her shorts are doing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe her shorts are. Oh, look at this. 33 views, 71 views. Here's her with her pants on at a grocery store, 94 views. It's not working on the large American platforms. She, she, here she is standing naked with an American flag. She got 3,000. Congratulations. That one worked. This one with her pants on got 20,000. But the rest of them, just not working. Why is TikTok working? Where's the organic reach? I ask you. It ain't there. Normally, you can see a correlation between someone's presence on social media across all of social media. 
Take a look at me, for instance. On YouTube, between my three channels, I guess it's like four, what, let's, was it 4.4 million subscribers? There's some overlap, so it might be actually like 3 million unique or something. On Twitter, I have 2.2 million. And on Instagram, I have 400,000. Instagram typically gets, you know, when it comes to politics and stuff, you have less. Uh, uh, X, I said Twitter, X is actually a little, little bit higher. But there is a correlation. If you watch the podcast on iTunes and Spotify, uh, Timcast IRL is in the top 200. It fluctuates. I think our peak position was top 35, but it usually floats around like between 100 and, 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 and 200. Really depends on if people are watching on YouTube or iTunes. But there's a direct correlation across the board. Why? If people actually know who you are and they like the content you produce, they will find it on other platforms. People will talk about you. The Washington Post writes about me. I'm not making content where I rip my pants off and do weird things. I'm talking about news. I've had people say, like, why don't you do more segments like this, that, or otherwise? I talk about what I care about. I don't talk about what I think will just generate tons of traffic. Now you look at an individual like this. She has no followers anywhere else. There's no linked correlation. It makes no sense. Timcast gets banned from TikTok. And so we make new, new accounts and we have relatively few followers there. I think it's like, we, I think we are in the tens of thousands not particularly active after we got banned. How is it inverted that on this one foreign controlled platform, she's got half a million, but on the rest of the platforms, it's very few with no views. In my opinion, it's probably fake they, or they prop it up. This girl is cray. Are you Jojo Siwa? So a lot of these comments, people are sharing it. Are you okay? Are you okay? Emoji. How many of these comments are bots? I wonder hit the nail on the head. I actually think the emoji ones are fake. I think what TikTok does is intentionally get reward bad and psychotic behavior. So these people think they're building up big followings and getting attention, but all they're really doing is burning themselves to the ground. Thumbs down emojis. I don't think it's real. Genuinely do not believe it's real. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It really could be they are real people and the algorithm is just promoting psychotic behavior intentionally. But I tell you this, if people really liked it, Amber, they'd follow you on other platforms and there'd be a direct correlation between your following on TikTok and other platforms. So for all these creators who are like, I've got a million followers on TikTok, but no followers anywhere else. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself why that is? Why don't people follow you on other platforms? Even Dylan Mulvaney has a lot of followers on other platforms. Dylan Mulvaney got a lot of press. It's because it's fake, in my opinion. Now, apparently she's in West Virginia. Stop giving West Virginia a bad name, lady. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll interview her on the culture war and we'll talk about this. Like, this shut, 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 I wonder where in West Virginia she's showing up and doing this ridiculous stuff. I'm on live right now at the grocery store. Oh, dude, this is so sad. Like, what are your friends and family going to think? You know, when, when your parents watch this, are they like, wow, I'm so proud of what you've become. Look, if you're a comedian and you make comedy videos and you're doing stand up. People are going to be like, wow, you're, you're a comedian. OK, if you're if you're pulling your pants down in front of a Walgreens and you're like, yeah, but I get a million views. If you're acting like you're defecating with your pants down in front of people at a grocery store. You are like, man. Just so brutal. Cilantro Industrial Complex Super Chat saying it's got to be kids watching this stump, this stuff. Yep. And that's why she's giggling and acting like a child. But this is creepy stuff to show to kids. It's just messed up cringe. YouTube got rid of the stuff that was targeting kids this way. I'll stress this one more time. One more time, dude. If there's no correlation and you're following across social media platforms, you're not really generating a following. All you're doing is making this your legacy. Hey, man, but I guess I can, I can say power to her for... Um, not feeling shame, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we need it. I'm going to wrap it up there. Next segment's coming up tonight at 8 p.m. over at youtube.com slash TimCastIRL. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Smash the like button. You can follow me on X and Instagram at TimCast. You can follow me. Uh, you can go to uh, become a member at TimCast.com to support our work. Uh, for the rest of you watching live, we'll go to your super chats. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.